Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, I just wanted to make a quick follow-up video to a live stream I did the other night where I was sculpting some metals for a marathon that's coming up. And this is what they look like. Uh, the marathon is tomorrow. It is 11, 12 at night. The marathon starts at 6 in the morning and I have to bring these tomorrow. And I'm supposed to run this, but I'm not going to be able to tomorrow. Maybe soon. But anyway, I wanted to show these metals. I did two larger ones. These are for the men's and women's uh, finishers, the, the first place runners, and then a whole bunch of, I think I did 24 of these little guys, which are, let's take a look at one of these here. Um, this is what they look like. It is the Wisdom Tree Trail Marathon. And you can see I kind of gave them like a little bit of a bronzy finish with some weathered patina and a little bit of dirt on the back and a ribbon. And you can probably tell they're kind of, they're pretty lightweight because they're just 3D printed. Now, months ago, when I thought about making these for this race, I was like, man, I'm going to cast these out of aluminum. I saved tons and tons of aluminum scrap cans and all kinds of weird stuff because I was going to buy or build uh, a little metal foundry. And I think I'm just going to buy one. They have them pretty cheap on Amazon. And I think that I am not going to take the time to actually make one. It'll take me forever. So I plan on buying one. Did not get it in time um, to do the metals. But uh, anyways, two versions here. This is how I initially modeled them, and they were based on this metal here, which is one that I got for the Leonardo Divide 100 mile. You can see the scale. It's almost the same size. I used this one for my size reference. But when I went to print these, um, I got them all set up in Cheetah Box, and it was going to take like a, quite a while to print the batches this size. And I was started them kind of late. Uh, and then... I don't know what I did with my power supply for my uh, Piopoli Phenom, which could print more of these at the same time. So I was like, well, I got to do something. So I was like, well, I'm going to print them FDM. So I printed all these on my Prusa. And I just printed them flat on the bed like this, printed them up. And um, the Prusa slicer has a variable layer option. So I did the first like two thirds of it with like really high layer height. So I could print them fast. And then the, the top where the tree is, you can see it came out really nice. Um, I just did the variable layers. I turned the quality up really high just for the, the front part with the tree. And I think they came out really good. Even the small ones, the detail holds up pretty nice. Um, for an FDM print, I think that's pretty good. Next year, when I do these, I will probably change up the design a little bit and then um, do the same thing where I'll maybe do big and a small, and then I will try to do them in metal. So hopefully before next year, I get the metal castings. And then I just wanted to show, I printed these in ABS, and they're green, they're on a green filament. So all of them are the same stuff. I had a couple duds. For some reason when I was printing, if I printed one at a time, they came out great. But if I printed two at a time with the exact same settings, both of them would come out kind of bad. One would come out really bad and have like all these issues with the, you see the print lines and sorry, it's not focusing. And the, the letters would get all wonky and the back would be all, I don't know, it was like half peeling up, it'd be terrible. I don't know what the deal was. Maybe it's too cold. Cats going nuts over here, not knocking stuff around. Um, but anyway, I feel like the metal, the metal paint came out pretty good. This process, basically I did um, a Krylon gold paint, which I really don't like, but I just wanted to use the can up. So I did an initial coat with the Krylon gold, and then um, I did a wash with black acrylic uh, just to get the, all the dark. And then where the gold is exposed in the front, I used two different, sorry cats, I did two different gold rub and buffs. There's like uh, antique gold and then a bright gold, I think. And I just kind of go bef between them and, and uh, just hit all the high points. And I think they read pretty nice. This one, I used a silver rub and buff on the on the letters. Initially, it was just going to be one. I, was, I went back and forth whether I should do a tree, but it's just getting ridiculous. So um, that's the paint. Again, it's just spray paint and rub and buff over green ABS. But anyway, I wanted to show these, document them in case you guys watch the live stream um, on how I did them, doing the ZBrush stuff. And if you want to see that, I'll, I will link to it, in it below or put it in the cards at the end if I can, because I don't know if it'll let me put a live stream in there. But uh, anyway, just a follow-up. Thanks for stopping by. See you kids soon. Bye!